Hey guys, what's up? It is Laura Ventura with Pause and All, and today we have Archie here. And Archie is about just three months old, and I want to show you guys how I go about, um, oh, hello, baby, how I go about giving puppies their first grooming experience. Now, he's never been in the van, and we're not going to do a full haircut on him because I don't recommend giving puppies a full haircut until they're about five to six months only because their puppy hair is still growing out and you just want it to take its full course before you start cutting it. However, if a dog is like severely matted, then I will go ahead and um, shave off that puppy hair and just start over, okay? So it's pretty much depends on the case, but because he's not matted and um, he's still growing his puppy coat, we're not gonna give him a full haircut, but we are going to do his face, feet, sanitary and when I say face I mean take away the in the corner of his eyes and also his visor we're gonna introduce him to the bath and we're gonna introduce him to all the equipment and all the noises in the grooming van so when he does start getting a full haircut it's not gonna be a shock to him and um, he's gonna be ready to go and he's gonna be well behaved and he's not gonna be scared so first things first I just sit him on my table and um, I stay close to them while they sniff everything and I introduce him to the clippers. I'll just have him smell the clippers. I'll turn him on later on after his bath when he's more relaxed. Okay. And then I'll also let him sniff the nail grinder, which could be really scary for puppies. Okay. And I'll turn that on later. And then I'll also let him sniff the brush. So when dogs are born, they don't have um, all their senses. Their eyes are shut and then their ears are also shut. The only sense that they have is their nose and that's why it's so powerful. That's why I let all my puppies sniff everything and just explore the van before I go ahead and put them in the tub. I'm waiting for my water to heat up because it is cold here in Orlando, Florida. So I'll give it a couple of minutes and then I'll show you guys how I go about bathing a puppy for the first time. All right guys, so for him, I'm gonna use Omela Pet Shampoo. And it, this is really therapeutic and it's made with oatmeal and aloe and I'm going to dilute it. I'm actually gonna have him smell it too. You wanna smell? It smells so nice. Yeah, he likes it. He liked it in it. He liked it in it. Okay. Smell? I won't spray him with the water hose just yet. I'm just gonna pour this on him. So he's just less frightened of the whole process. Hi. So when I bathe any dog, especially dog with a longer coat, I'm making sure that it's getting to the root of their hair and I'm massaging it very well. I'm also concentrated on making sure the shampoo is getting in between the paws. And I feel like when bathing a dog, warm, very warm water works best because it helps break down all the, um, just all the dirt that's on there. It's like kind of washing your dishes. When you wash your dishes with hot water, what happens is just easier. It's an easier process because the hot water helps break down all the um, all the dirt and food and all. So I, I keep like a little water bowl. Just when I have puppies or dogs that don't like to get their face sprayed with the water hose, I'm able to do this. You're okay. And I'm gonna use um, South Bark's Blueberry Facial. And this is safe for dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens. And the Omela is also safe for puppies and kittens. I'm just gonna use this much. 
I'm going to lather it up in my hands. And I'm just going to go ahead and gently work that in. I am making sure throughout this whole process that water is not getting inside of his ear. Now, if you get water inside of a dog's ear in the bath time, you just got to make sure that you dry around that ear very, very well. Let them shake that water out because if water is left in a dog's ear, an infection is bound to happen. And guys, the bath process is definitely the most relaxing, I would say, of the groom. And that's why I try to do it first because before I take scissors or clippers to him or the nail grinder, he'll be a lot more relaxed if I do this first. This also builds trust. And they really enjoy a nice little face and head massage. So I go ahead and do that and I also do it behind their ears. And I'm making sure I'm getting his full muzzle. So if there's any dog food stuck in there, I'm getting that. While the body is soaking up in Omela shampoo. Now with smaller dogs, I love that Wagon Tails has this option that I could go ahead and um, grab this tray and just put it higher so when I have a smaller dog or when I have a puppy that I need more control over or if I don't want to have to be bent down um, hurting my back I could just push put this up and look it's pretty much um, face level for me so thanks wagon tails you got best all right I'm gonna rinse his body and let that sit on his face for a little bit doing really good with the water hose. With puppies, it's really all about it just um, letting them smell everything, letting them sniff everything beforehand so it's not a shock. Now, I am going to have to introduce the dryer to him because that is going to be pretty loud and probably pretty startling, but again, I'll have him sniff it and then I'll put cotton balls in his ears so the noise isn't that much. Noise. Guys, I love Happy Hoodies and I used to use Happy Hoodies, but the thing is that because Happy Hoodies um, go around the head while you're drying the dog, they stay wet. So they smell like wet towel after a while. And if you're not washing those things every day, it's just like, I just feel like it's a breeding ground for bacteria. That's why I choose to do cotton balls. rinsing a dog off, I'm making sure that I'm rinsing them very well and there's not going to be any type of shampoo left or any type of residue because the last thing you want them to do is be itchy and flaky and that shampoo just sit on their skin. So rinsing is such an important part, just make sure that you thoroughly do it. Right now I'm going to take my absorbent towel and I'm going to try to absorb as much water as I can before I put them on the drying table. And I'm gently just squeezing out the water from his fur. As you see how relaxed he is, it's just about the vibe and the energy that you bring to them and also just about the introduction and a puppy's first groom let me tell you is probably the most important one because they remember everything after this point so you just want to make sure that you make it the best experience possible all 
All right, so most of the water is off of him. He's not dripping wet. I never, ever dry a dog while it's dripping wet. I always make sure that I absorb as much water. First, to make the process faster, and also, it suits them because they're not gonna be drying forever. All right. Now I'm putting him back on the table. Because I'm drying him, now, if you see some of my other videos, I most of the time don't use this with puppies. I like to have them know their boundaries. Now I'm always by the table. The space is very small, it might look big in the camera, but I'm always by the table, so I've never had a dog hit the floor at all, okay? If you are not an experienced groomer or you're not experienced with dogs, do not try this. I do this because I want all my dogs to be able, hi baby, to be able to be groomed without this and without the groomer's helper, okay? So I train them from this age. A lot of groomers and a lot of people think that puppies is, they're hard to groom. You just have to have a lot of patience and know that if you start training them now, they're going to get it really quickly. Like, he's so cute. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. And they are going to want to smell your face because that's how dogs get to know you. They are going to be all up in your, you know, so just let them because that just builds the bond and trust. And know that I'm probably going to be seeing him every, well, I am going to be seeing him every six weeks because I see his sister every six weeks. So this is going to be a routine for him. So you just don't want it to be a negative thing every time you pull up every six weeks, okay? All right. I am going to grab my leave-in conditioner. It's a detangling spray from Smith & Burton. Shout out to Smith & Burton. This detangling spray is magic. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit because it, it is on the sticker side. My sprayer broke, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my hand. And I, you see, he's so curious, he wants to smell everything. I'm gonna rub it together and I'm gonna just distribute it evenly. And this is gonna help me brush him out. This smell is, it's not overbearing. So when you have a puppy or kitten, try not to use overbearing smells um, or scents. Now it has silk protein, jojoba, and manuka honey. Guys, I would use this in my own hair. Hi, hi. Okay. Now I'm going to take my slicker brush. Now this slicker brush is missing some bristles. It's been through it. I don't want to use my brand new one because it might be too rough, especially because he's a puppy and he's wet right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just start brushing him out gently. And when you brush out a puppy or dog, you want to make sure that again, you're getting to the root, not just the surface of the fur or the hair, you're getting to the root. And I'm gonna go slow. So far so good guys. Let's see how he acts with the blow dryer. Good boy, perp. Turn him around. Okay. And if you are going to attempt this with a puppy, um, leaving them off of the groomer's helper or off the grooming loop, make sure you understand like when their weight shifts one way, you gotta catch them on the other, on the other side. Like you gotta make sure that you know exactly where that puppy's going before he goes there or she goes there. All right, guys, I'm going to put cotton balls in the ears. I'm going to break it into two because his little ear canals are teeny tiny. And he's trying to smell. Okay. And I'm going to put them in there. Not too deep, just enough for them to stay inside. Now for the drying, I am gonna put them on here. 
Sorry guys, um, my Dremel got to this and uh, it needs to be replaced. <laughs> With long hair dogs, also you guys want to make sure when you click this down that you're not grabbing onto any hair because that'll hurt them. Okay, I'm going to use my cool dry on him because I could control the dial a lot more. And then I'm also going to use my narrow um, head because if I use this one, the force is just going to be too much for him. Okay, I'm going to let him smell it. Good boy. I'm going to turn it on a little bit, I'll let him smell it again, All right guys, so we've already um, dried his body and also brushed it out. I have to brush it out one more time. But now we're gonna move on to the face and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the nozzle off and I'm gonna fluff dry him. So I'm gonna just go ahead and dry his face while I comb it out. So let's see how he does. And I'm gonna just do it on low. He did really good for the drying, by the way. I'm gonna take him off of the groomer's helper and I'm gonna just let him do his thing. He might lay down. Just brushing them out and then we're gonna go ahead and start working with the clippers and introduce them to the shears and all that good stuff and the nail grinder and we're gonna help him see because he can't see right now oh oh look how cute look how cute he is all right, guys, I disinfected my blade. I use Cool Care by Andis. This also is a coolant and disinfects all at the same time. These blades hardly get hot, but I just disinfect before I do any dogs. So I'm going to start with a 40 because I'm going to do his paw pads. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on so you can smell it. Oh boy, what do you think? Hold on, Bob. Hold on. Now I'm already here, so I'm going to do his little behind. Now notice I don't go all the way down. I just go right here. Now I'm going to do his sanitary, and this I'm doing with a 15. I'm going to take this a little bit up, so when he pees, it doesn't get on this fur and I'm really gently doing this I'm not even pressing on his skin puppy skin is so sensitive you don't want to have them get clipper burns Come here. Up. and I do lift his leg up like this just to make sure I got it nice and neat I'm gonna just double check 
<laughs> okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do his nails. The rest I'm gonna go ahead and just scissor. So I'm going to, his nails are pretty much clipped, so I'm just gonna round them out a little bit, and um, this is probably gonna be the scariest part for him. I wanna make sure that he's not gonna put his face in the Dremel's way. So I'm gonna start with the back ones, just so he gets the feel for it before I go to the front ones. Good oh boy, you're okay. I'm gonna clip them first. The back ones are kind of long. You're okay. You're okay. Got your nails clipped. Uh, you got your nails clipped by somebody. Okay, I'm gonna put it on low. You're okay, folks. And I'm gonna try to go fast. You're okay. You're okay. And I'll talk him through this. I'm just rounding them out. They're kind of short. I think the vet clipped them. But I'm just going to round them out because as you guys probably know, puppy nails are like little needles. He's doing really good for this. He's just a little scared, as I thought he would be. Come here. Good boy. Good boy, Arch. Good boy. Guys, he did so good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our thinning shears out. And our curves because we're going to have this baby be able to see. Okay, so I'm going to use my guide thinning shears and I'm also going to use the Solita um, curved ones. These are pretty powerful shears. I'll link both of these below and this is what I'm going to use to do his face and then um, round out his visor and his paws. Okay so the first things first let's go ahead and help him see by taking out these little hairs and I'm going to angle my thinning shear this way. Mind you, this is very relaxing to them, okay? And this is exactly how you want them to be when you are taking sharp shears towards their face, especially by their eyes. I'm gonna make sure I get all those tear stains, okay, as best as I can. And the trick is, guys, is to brush up and grab anything that comes up, okay? I'm not going to mess with the middle part of his, um, between his eyes too much. Look, you see he's very relaxed. This feels really good to them. And then we're going to go, and we're going to angle our thinning shoes like this and take this chunk off. Clean, right now I don't know if you guys could tell but he has little eyelashes I'm gonna keep his eyelashes I don't like to trim eyelashes unless the owners are um, ask me to and or if they're like way too long or bothering their eye now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to comb his visor all the way to the front And then I'm going to do a half circle with my curved shears. So I take off a little bit just to see where his eyelashes are. And then I go ahead and separate his eyelashes to his um, head hair with my shears, with the ends of my shears. See how cute that is?
Archie could see! Archie could see! Now when you go ahead and trim um, the hair in between the eyes, just make sure, try to make sure that the hair doesn't go inside of the eye. There has been some cases that dog's hair has gotten in their eyes and it scratched their cornea. I really don't want it to happen to this guy. So all the little hairs that I went ahead and scissored, I go ahead and clear them with the comb, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna round out his little paws because we've already shaved underneath. And I always do it, I always do this after I do their nails, okay? You don't ever wanna do their nails um, after this. You wanna do their nails first, and then go ahead and round out their paws. Because you wanna make sure that you go as short as possible without having their nails exposed. Now he's getting real comfortable. I'm gonna ask him to stand up for me. And I'm just combing it out and doing half, um, half of a circle here. And then the other, the other half of the circles back here. Guys, I'm gonna comb them out one more time. I'm gonna put a nice little light serum on his fur. And then I'm going to send him home. He did so good. Archie, you did good, burp. Alright guys, as always, this is my favorite, Silk Spirits. A little bit goes a long way. Just a tiny bit. This also has a very light fragrance. It's not that strong, but it's gonna make them feel silky. Oh. Oh. You feeling good, puppy? You can see now. So I think he had a very positive experience. This was a lot of fun. Before we go ahead and start taking his first time uh, haircut pictures. Let's go ahead and do the last of it, which is we're gonna clean his ears. He does have hair in his ears, but I'm going to go ahead and pluck them next time. I don't like to do it the first time. Uh, it's not a lot of hair, he'll be good. I'll see him in six weeks and then I'll start plucking then. I just wanna wait until he's a little older. And we're also gonna get him used to the teeth brushing. Now, look at his little teeth. He has little puppy teeth, really little. But getting him used to the toothbrush and toothpaste now is gonna make our lives a lot easier later on. Especially with small breeds. Small breeds tend to get um, quicker decaying teeth, so going to use that's best and I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller side of the toothbrush I have um, dual size toothbrushes but I cut them in half so they can last me longer I'm gonna put just a little bit he's falling asleep he's gonna smell it he's gonna smell this yeah you like it let's see let's see let's see if you like it let's see. wow and we're gonna go on a circular motion very good, Archie. Oh. oh, it's very good. Very good, and we're gonna go all the way back here. Get his tongue. Good. And now we're going to go ahead and get Q-tips. Some ear cleaner. Spray it on there, have them smell. 
He's very curious. This guy's a very curious little man. And we're just gonna go in here. His ears look really clean. I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't have any wax. I never use the same side. Yeah, his ears are super clean. You see, nothing came out. I'm gonna dry the inside of his ears a little bit more and then stay tuned till when he's all done and he's on the finishing table. Good boy. All right, guys, we are all done with Archie. I hope you guys learned something new and how you kind of have to vibe out with puppies first time. Again, it's really important, so you want to make sure that they have the best experience possible. I'm so happy on how well behaved he was and how well we clicked. Again, he's going to be a client every six weeks, so this is going to be an ongoing thing for him. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like my channel, um, give me a thumbs up comment below say what's up i adore you guys thank you guys so much for the support we made it to 25k shy of like two days before christmas so that was such a big gift for me um again i love you guys and i love sharing what i do up and out love and light laura ventura